All right, so greetings family and uh, greetings to all the mothers of the world. Uh, happy Mother's Day and um, welcome to another wonderful journey of a lifetime to Africa. And this is uh, your host, Bomani Tayamba. And we just literally just got back from another wonderful journey to Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour, April 2nd to the 12th, 2021. So that's what you literally see when you go to the newsletter that I sent in the WhatsApp uh, page. I note that when I send these uh, links in the WhatsApp, uh, once you click on it, it opens up and it gives you the details of um, that's always the case on everything. Uh, same thing on the website. Uh, we're talking about whether it's the Black Star Pan-African community, which is more so connected in our Ghana tours. We have that link right there on the website. Um, and then once you click on it, it gives you from introduction information to getting started information to access to all videos and, and photos. And uh, it's the same thing as we go down to the rest of what you see on uh, the main menu, which is our tours. And as I scroll down on this newsletter, uh, it just lays out all of the upcoming uh, journeys that we have. So the, our next journey is Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, May 24th to June 5th. Um, and that's literally coming up in about uh, 15 days. So once you click on the link of that one and everything else we have, it just gives you full itinerary, which we have talked about uh, many times over, general terms, uh, tour overview, uh, visa information, and so on. Uh, so everyone that's traveling with us uh, should be clear on that. Um, and the main thing is to be clear on that itinerary because that's going to be your day-to-day -day schedule. And then the tour overview, which tells you what's included and what's uh, not included. So everyone else that's traveling with us on any future tours, uh, we have the date set, hotels, all the details. And then all the tours that we currently have, we have video highlights. Once you click on a YouTube link uh, in this newsletter or on the website, it will give you it does go right to the my YouTube page where I show a list of the last few tours that we have done and their playlist. So once you click on them, they'll give you a video count from one to however many videos were recorded, and that will give you your you know your full idea of you know how the journey look, how our staff or people look that's traveling with us. It does give you a clarity uh, beyond just the unknown of someone saying, "Hey, you're going, we're going here," and it's, you know, you have to visualize it. And then the same thing with, uh, when you click on the Facebook link, you'll see the active Facebook uh, photos. Once you click on photos, as far as the different uh, group, um, groups that we've taken, that way you have a full documentation. So that's one of the biggest things uh, that I have. And it just gives you clarity and lets you see that this is a journey for the black African family uh, only, uh, regardless of if you're from the African continent or the diaspora, just for us as a people to connect to our roots. Cause if you're in um, if you're in Senegal, you may not know anything about Ghana, and it's a great opportunity for you to also go to Ghana to learn about the, the current roots culture and uh, history, and compare situations like in Senegal you have Gori Island, in Ghana you have Cape Coast Elmina, uh, all African Holocaust sites. Uh, so it's a bunch of different things that's put together, including uh, business investment, networking, and things like that all designed to just capture our mind and really connect the African diaspora to the continent. And these are just the countries that I have on my schedule. I have other people who have other countries and people going to other places. Uh, so right now is the, is the time of just the age of Africa, where you have more of the diaspora, more interested in Africa than at any other time. And now we have a chance to really do some good things. So I'm pushing a whole lot of networking because ultimately, it's the future of you know what we need to do, and you know, for those who feel their future is more this in America, that's fine. But we're talking about five, ten years from now, so everything that we're doing now is a reflection of getting ready for the future. And um, as I take us to different countries, uh, like the one after this is Tanzania, roots and culture journey. Uh, when you go there, you find other Africans from the diaspora, but also you find other people, Chinese, Indian, um, Arabs, and other people doing what they need to do as far as business investment and, and things like that. So the energy of what we have is, uh, you know, is the outreach to connect us, that everyone know that, hey, this is our continent, and you have all kind of other people just doing, you know, doing their thing as far as investing and whatever, exploiting and all those things that you know, 
different age of people are doing so it's you know it's also reach out to say hey let's participate and invest in the future and that way we as a people have black ownership and then you know you know even in black America in the diaspora you know so business people investors who want to expand their enterprise and so on the African continent is great you just got to get a feel of the different countries and get your right people in place and make it work uh, so we can look at these journeys as many different things and after we leave from Tanzania we're back in Ghana for December and in Senegal and the Gambia for April next year uh, so that's the, these are the links that's on the newsletter that was that's been posted and sent via email uh, so it's always have this the more most current updated information uh, that we have that way Anyone that's looking to travel with us can plan ahead. I wish I had a whole lot more country and things like that, uh, but this is you know, the best we can uh, do. Uh, we're just adding the last three countries you just added, and South Africa. I'm still trying to get a feel of what's going on in South Africa because that was one country that was on the rotation of countries that we had. And some news that are, that I'm going through it's talking it's uh, talking about the video and the photo links that I'm mentioning so once you actually open the news and you scroll down you get all of the, the details in there and then you'll see a list of all of the group pages or group pictures that we have taken so you can see us and the type of people that we're rolling with and let you see that this is something that we spend a lot of time organizing and putting together to have this kind of outcome as an organized group tour and the same thing on the topic list, it is, goes into, and these are the links I always you know, share all the time, the YouTube link, Facebook, and the website link, and that gives you the core details, videos, pictures, and actual text detailed information and full clarity. Now, one of the things that we do have on some of these countries we travel into is the fact that we need a visa. So since we're going to Ghana in uh, May, everyone has to have a uh, Ghana visa and uh, the same thing for Tanzania coming up. Uh, these are all visas that you start your process with online, uh, which is what the Ghana visa is, online, but you still have to send in your information. Um, and, and for now, yes, you still have to send in your, your real passport. Tanzania, everything is all digital. Like you upload a digital copy of your, your ticket, your passport, your photos, all those things, and you get a, you know, you get a, a visa that's actually emailed to you and you print out and you bring it with you. Uh, so that's unique and uh, the Gambia is the other country that need a, you need a visa and the Gambia have a, they have a five year process a visa um, and uh, yeah, so that gives you a little flexibility if you plan on traveling there in the next few years. That one visa will help you get around for the next you know, five years. And so all of these visas that we have, uh, anyone that's traveled with me to any, any the specific country uh, if I haven't sent you a visa email, all you have to do is just uh, text me or email me and just request a visa email. But at the same time, too, the visa link and details is in all of the, uh, the, the tour link or the tour details on the uh, website. Uh, but the purpose of the uh, visa email is a sample copy, which does help some people out. Um, and you can use that, and then there's a few additional this information on via email uh, that's just you know, giving, making it as simple as possible, but it's not that much different from what you see on the uh, website. Uh, so in, in, in all, um, all the information is on the website. Uh, the specific tour that you're traveling to, I do have a few language translation. Um, I'm working on a few more. I got in Ghana, three to English, in uh, Senegal and the Gambia, um, English uh, to Wolof, and then in Tanzania, Kiswahili to English. Uh, so those are, those are things we put together to where you can just check out and get a good feel. But plus, you can also do your research online and use online apps, especially if you're trying to get a feel of the local language. Okay. And ultimately, the, the main list that I have on the website is the departure and reminder list. And it's just a list of all of the Remind that need to know information before you go and just kind of summarize certain things. So that's one of the ultimate uh, preparation uh, lists that we have. Uh, talks about baggage weights, uh, uh, talks about certain uh, procedure, what to bring, what to pack, 
um, reminder items and things like that. And then now since we're all uh, traveling on a like Delta and KLM, Delta and KLM uh, is requesting um, COVID tests. Just get it from a, one of those popular or big agency that will give you something via email or, or and a printout that can be checked uh, right there uh, when you get to the airline counter. Uh, so the COVID test has to be within 72 hours before you board the flight. Uh, when you get to Ghana, they'll take their own COVID test also. And that's something that for those who are traveling to Ghana with us, we're just going to have to talk privately on one of these Zoom calls in the next few days. And then it's up to all of us to get clarity of what we need to do. That way, when we're talking amongst each other, we can just you know, give each other clarity of these things. And the link will be provided on, on, from the Ghana airports where you have to just pre-register and things like that. So I'm going to find out the most updated information so I can share it with those who specifically travel with me to Ghana in May of uh, 2021, the next two weeks. Uh, everyone else, um, as we find information, we just keep on sharing it. But right now, as of now, it's um, the main thing everyone has to do is you're willing to take a COVID test before they leave the U.S. and then also on your return from whatever country you're traveling from. And on the return, is simple. We just did that in uh, the Gambia. Uh, you know, we're supposed to leave out on uh, Sunday evening and we're able to take it uh, Saturday morning and we got it back uh, Sunday morning. Uh, so the best thing is usually to take it two days before we travel and then um, we'll be good to go on there. And if you ask me about the cost, it's 50 to $80. just depends on which uh, country. Uh, so that's the uh, experience and the situation that we have when we're going to um, all the countries on our itinerary as of now. Uh, there's no... The, the vaccination is not a requirement, so if you get the vaccination, you still have to take the COVID test. Uh, so you ask me what's the purpose of the vaccination. I have no idea. That's not something I need educated to even talk about. Uh, the best thing I could tell you is I follow the procedures for the airlines to get on the flight and then also the procedures to get in the country and then then the same thing to return in, uh, return, leave and then return in country. So. Uh, that is um, the situation as of now. So all of us just make sure that we get our test schedule. I recommend uh, get your COVID test on the third day before you leave. And that way, when you get it back, you get it back the next day or the day after. And that way, it will only be one or two days since um, your results. And I will just keep it real simple. All right, all of us uh, have tickets already, so the main thing, um, once we have tickets, is I always, we'll always recommend everyone uh, get a Delta Sky Miles since we primarily are flying on Delta Airlines. And also uh, just uh, update your information on your Sky Miles and also um, select your seats and do all of those things um, ahead of time. And then you know, download the, um, the Delta app on your phone and it'll just make it easier to access your flights and know what's going on, especially when you're trying to find out where your gates are. Once you log into your SkyMiles and click on your flight, it usually tells you all of that information. And it's usually more updated than, you know, well, all the systems update kind of at the same time too, but it's a direct way to get updates. So those are, so that is that. Uh, all of the uh, tours that we have, we also have a uh, $50 group tips that's in the general terms and that's also in the preparation. And that $50 group tips goes towards us uh, collecting money to spread around from the tour staff to people who are assisting and helping us throughout the time frame and beyond, especially the people that are the guides at the different sites and people who pro provide entertainment and certain, uh, uh, you know, certain things uh, to make sure that we are accommodated and welcome into the country. So that is what that is for, and then um, you can still put together whatever tips you want and give to somebody that's serving you or as you choose. Uh, try not to get into it too much beyond that. Uh, so that's one of those things that's on uh, you know, on two of the lists that we have on the um, on each of the the tour details. And we do these tours, uh, especially to Ghana, we just recommend everyone bring a set of whites for when we go to the African Holocaust dungeons, Cape Coast or Elmina, and a set of red, black, and green clothing for a sin man, so, or when we do the city tours. Once you bring those things, usually when we're, you know, because it does change, we discuss it uh, 
on a private Zoom conference call or, or in country, um, what will you, when when will we the tour T-shirts for? Which is usually when we do a city tour and things like that. Uh, so those are things that we have going as far as the colors and solidarity. When you see the group pictures, or you see us move in a certain way. Uh, school supplies and donations uh, for the children of the different countries you travel to. Uh, we always recommend that everyone to bring school supplies and any kind of financial donation from the kindness of their heart is just something that uh, you know that we just recommend and something that is up to you um, and it's no big deal uh, either way. But those who contribute will take it and share it, uh, and it will be shared right in front of you. And then any financial donation that's connected or that is collected is given over directly to the leadership of the school. Those are the things that um, uh, we just have going as we look to just build beautiful energy. And the last um, orphanage that we went to was uh, the one in the mountains in Tutu and also the one outside of our community, which is in Jahadzi um, in the central region. And that was a nice, uh, you know, nice sort of visit. Um, uh, the COVID situation in 19 was still high, so people had, they had their protocols and stuff, but we were able to still get a good tour of the site and the facility and things like that. And it's, um, it's a good situation for us to do as a people um, as we look to build better relationships and, and you know, build us together as a community. So that's what I love about the whole itinerary schedule that we have in Ghana. And on top of these things, what we have beyond us, the land tour and things like that, we have a repatriation investment conference. As a matter of fact, I got two separate conferences. One is a citizenship conference, and you come there, you can fill out the paperwork, and you can start processing your citizenship. And then if you're looking to stay back in the country longer, you can get started with your residency. Uh, so that's one conference, and that's a very you know, small one-hour, one-and-a-half-hour session. And we have a bigger conference, uh, which is the Repatriation and Investment Conference, which is more of the business conference. So we have people from shippers, builders, uh, people who provide uh, sustainable energy um, services as we look to build a sustainable um, our community. Uh, so it's you know, trying to create that energy and a whole lot of people to network from the African diaspora. Uh, and also from Ghana itself. Uh, so it's a nice little network and energy that's created. Uh, so I don't have that so much on all other tours. I did put together a nice little session there in Senegal uh, and um, look to work something out in, the, in uh, Tanzania where we can just build a dialogue. Cause that's how we started all these conferences and things like that in Ghana by just starting out with this basic, uh, you know, dialogue of us as a people talking about what do we want the future for us to be in Africa and what we want our legacy and what we, what, what we feel we can contribute or uh, how, we can, how do we feel like we can be a part of the, you know, the country in the future and so on. So that um, presentation right there just really worked itself out and it has connected a whole lot of people. Um, we've been we've connected, I mean, literally just a lot of people to where people some people, when they return, they feel comfortable and they connect with the people that they met before and they just keep going and doing different things. Uh, so that's the impact and influence that we, um, we, uh, we've been uh, working towards uh, over the last 14-plus um, years since I've been doing this business, uh, Africa Tours and Investment. Uh, this is our 19th Ghana journey, and it is the purpose of doing all of this is to this get settled there, build better relationships, and you know, make a permanent uh, settlement for us to just build a future and operate business and things like that. And, you know, this, uh, Ghana is just the all-around great country, and that's why I've been to Ghana more than all the other countries in Africa combined that I've been to other nine countries. And, you know, because I've been to most of the other countries once or twice or at least three or four times. Uh, so I've been able to get an additional feel. Um, I'm telling you, once I got to Ghana, it was right from before, I, you know, before the inception of connecting to Ghana. Everything, the energy, everything was right. You know, and it may be different for different people, but my, my Jamaica of Africa, it's basically what I mean by saying that it's very tropical. You can grow all the things that you want to grow. You have ocean access. Uh, people are very cultural. You know, those elements itself music, nightlife, social energy, festivals, so on, just um, 
a very peaceful country itself, uh, which is the thing that stands out uh, that uh, we love. You know, you want to be somewhere where every minute you turn on the TV, you're not seeing people getting shot or arrested or chaos going on or and things like that. So I love the family structure there. It's one of the best things about the country. And um, and it's just for everyone else, honestly, to get a feel of. Uh, but I'm basing my experience on comparing Ghana to 10 other African countries. And the ones that we're going to now are some of the other ones that I like that I feel you can, you know, you have more people from the dance we're going there, but you can feel a nice little cultural connection. And, you know, the elements of the stress of just being, you know, you know being in America or being this away from your continent, you know, once you get there, all those things are connect. Uh, so that's why we just try to do as much videos as possible and even expressions of photos, try to just share those things to you know, get people to connect. And so I'm scrolling down uh, this newsletter, which is full of information. And uh, what one thing you'll see is the current Facebook group pages. So uh, a lot of times what I'm doing is uploading the photos and the, the videos, um, even just the YouTube links to these um uh, Facebook uh, page and also anyone that's traveling with us can also share information so it does end up being a page full of this documentation and then beyond that you still down you see all the tours that I've taken in to Africa from December 2006 to April 2021 and the last set of countries are it just shows up right there Senegal, the Gambia, Ghana, Tanzania, South Africa, Togo, Benin and I've never done a tour to Ethiopia except for that one that I was a part of. Nothing to South Africa or other countries uh, Kenya that I've been to. Uh, so some countries I've been able to go back around and put together journeys to in some countries. Either I haven't gotten to there yet or you know, other things haven't fallen in place. But just proud to share this list of the countries, the tours that we've taken. And you see all of the people on there beautiful energy of black people, the kind of black folks who have like, if we put more of our energy in Africa, we can do some wonderful things and we can create a better future for our children as far as ownership, opportunities, and all those are wonderful elements. All right, so family, I uh, don't want to go too far into anything else. Uh, but what I've done is I've gone over the new letter that was sent to everyone. And as we are on our way to, um, yeah, to Ghana, um, I'll be working on a few things there in Ghana after the journey, so uh, I'll be working on probably setting up another conference call sometime uh, at the end of June or July, but all of the information is just on these uh, on the website and on here. Uh, it's not much of change, but I try to at least have public conference calls to just hear people and just share documented information that everyone knows that these are all things that we have in place and these are all things that we go over. And one of the last things before I open it up is um, when you're looking at the itinerary and the schedule, I know what we're looking at is like, oh, this is eight days, this is nine days, this is ten days. So the journeys are all minimum eight, maximum ten days. But the best thing I could recommend to anyone, if you want to stay longer in the country, whether it's two, three, four, five months, two, three, four years, or don't come back, you have those options. Uh, the best thing I would say is that once the journey is over, just make sure you have your plans in place. Anything that we can do, we can help you. And know that any country that we take you to, you have a driver that's still there in the country, a tour guide, tour assistant, and a few other associates that they live, they live in the country, and uh, they, you know, they all agree that they'll look out for anybody that stays back. So uh, you can offer them any additional business to help you uh, out also. And then we have other people. This is in the different countries that you know we can network and connect you with. Uh, so. Uh, that creates your opportunity if you want to, you know, if you're in Tanzania and you want to spend some time in Rwanda, South Africa, you know, you can, you know, you have, you know, these are all major parts of Africa where with major access to airlines, uh, local and international, so you can make your move around different parts of you know, the continent. Uh, Ethiopian Airlines, uh, very big South Africa, uh, Kenya Airways, all have access to flights all over to take you different parts of Africa. Uh, so I've done that for uh, uh, many people uh, over the period of time and things like that. And it you know, just expand their experience. Uh, so for me personally, that gives you a complete e experience as far as the journey of a lifetime, being able to enjoy a tour with all the main things laid out. And then you just 
spend time back in Africa and relax and enjoy it and uh, getting things set up for yourself. And now we have a global energy going now. We have so much of us uh, in different parts of the world doing business and so much of us going to different countries. So now it makes it a lot easier for us to, you know, really, you know, really network and put our energy together because that's what's going to help us get things done in Africa. We want citizenship. We want certain things. Show that we can get along. Show that we're united people. Show that we're organized. Show that uh, we're ready to come and do certain, do the work. Um, and because the reality of all countries, all countries know that in order for those of us to get there, you'd have to be on a more of a conscious mind to even leave where you're from to come to Africa. So that alone has made a good mark, and uh, there's many people before us that have done great work. So you know, we just got to keep on contributing and building on that work. So family, that is my new letter and presentation for this Sunday. Um, uh, May 9th, as you get ready for another wonderful journey to Ghana. So what I want to do is put everybody back in mute mode. And then from mute mode, family, let's press star six. Unmute yourself. Give your name, where you're calling from, what tri trip or what tour you're traveling, looking to travel on, and then ask your question. And then let's uh, dialogue about anything that anyone wants to talk about. This is Amina. I'm traveling to Ghana next uh, two weeks, and um, I just had some questions. How's everybody? <laughs> uh, sure. I'm excited. Uh, you said Abina. I didn't, I didn't hear your name clearly. Ami Amina, yeah. Uh, greetings, Amina. Uh, go ahead with your question. Greetings. Um, I just wondered, like, when I'm packing, I have different color clothes. I, I didn't really um, plan on um, the color scheme, but um, so uh, I don't know if I have enough, you know, is it okay if I just bring what I have, the different colors? Uh, bring what you have. Um, uh, there's no pressure on anyone um, and things like that. But also when you get in the country, you have access to clothing. But the only thing we're talking about is white, one set of white, and then uh, the red, black, and green. The shirts that we have is always red, black, and green. So that's one thing. So you can just wear, wear it as a top. Uh, but beyond that, it's honestly no big deal. It's just creating a program of solidarity. Well, maybe I could just um, put the T-shirt on or change clothes when we take a picture, but um, I don't know. Yeah, and then, and then have... just, just be comfortable as you want. Um, I'm not here to make anybody feel uncomfortable based on their clothing and things like that. Uh, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's a recommendation we'd like for everyone to do, but for religious, spiritual, uh, other beliefs and other things, uh, take all of that in account that it may not click or link with everyone. Um, and some people okay. do, uh, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> no, some people uh, have issues with different colors based on based on whether it's culture, religion, and some people just don't wear a certain color. Like myself, I just wear a certain color. Like most time, what I have on is red, black, green, and gold. Yeah. So you won't see me in pink. And you won't see me in in like yeah. You know. But anyway, just you know, just. It's no pressure, so uh, just do your best, and it is all good. Now, about the luggage, how much of the luggage should I bring? Like, um, I don't know, I have like a, a large piece of luggage and a small one to match. Uh, yeah. I mean, am I going to be carrying that around with me from place to place, or would right. you advise not to pack too much? No problem, I can explain that. Um, you have you allow two fifty pound chet bags, and so once you're in country with your chet bags, your chet bags will be in your room. Once you leave from one city to the next, you just put the chet bags outside the door, and we'll have someone come get it, and they bring it downstairs and put it in your in the vehicle. And then once we get where we need to get, they'll take it out and bring it up to your room. So you're not moving luggage around, and that's also what we collect group tips for, because we. Make sure the people that are willing to just move the bags around and do all that stuff uh, get tips. So it's a big thing that we have there in Ghana. Um, you don't have to struggle with no bags. Uh, so we're going to three different hotels, so you're going to have to move every three or four days. So just bring what you need, but if you fill up two 50-pound bags, um, and you just have to think about if you really want to bring certain things back. So you may want to pack less in that situation. But you're there for uh, 10 days. Right. So the airlines only allows two of them. 
And you have to pay for the third one? Uh, yes. Um, and it's about $200 for the extra bag. Uh, but you $200? have $200? Yes, but you have, uh, but, um, you're going away for 10 days, but you have two carry-on bags, um, like a backpack you can carry and a roll-on, a small suitcase that can fit in the overhead bin. And in the back mm -hmm. that, uh, the backpack can fit underneath the seat in front of you. Oh, okay. All right, then. All right, that was it. Thank you so much, brother. I look forward to meeting you all. Absolutely. Uh, we've seen less than 15 days. Uh, so uh, you have your tickets and everything ready to go? Yeah, yeah, of course. At perfect. So um, we'll catch you at the meetup point, and we're all on the same group page. So I'm telling everyone to communicate. And when we all get to New York, we can all just take a photo and say, I'm here, and so on. And then we all connect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Great. <laughs> okay. Right, cool. Excellent. All right, family, uh, the line is open now. We're traveling to Ghana, May 24th. June 5th, and um, another journey to Ghana in December also. Uh, so, Hello. this calls for any of the journeys, but especially for those who are traveling to Ghana. Hello, um, Bomani. Uh, greetings. Uh, this is Joyce. Uh, yeah. Greetings, Joyce. Yeah. Cool. Um, now, I, I have um, school supplies, um, but also I have of things that my sister gave me from her daughter, clothes-wise. Should we bring any clothes for the little kids or what? Uh, yes. Uh, just bring anything from the kind of your heart, school supplies, clothing, uh, you know, for this, um, children, whether it's uh, toddlers to, to, you know, teenagers. Right. All of it can be used. Okay. So, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to check on that because she gave me some things. So yeah, it can be used, and it's um, it's you know, it's, it's very well appreciated um, uh, to the people we bring things to. Um, and right now, um, the main place that we're looking to go to is um, at our resort in One Africa. We have children there also, so they'll get some of the supplies also. So we usually never have enough to go around, but the thing of it is, um, what's brought uh, is definitely thankful and useful. Yes, I just wanted to find out about that. I didn't want to bring them if, if um, you know, if that wasn't allowed. Okay, thank you. No, absolutely, um, you're welcome. And um, you got everything ready for your journey from May 24th to okay, The only thing, the only problem I was had, having was that with the, um, um, with the checking into that uh, trusted travel. I tried signing in with that trusted travel so many times. At first, I thought maybe it was it was a scam or something. Um, but I've tried to sign in with them, and it, it won't let me sign in. <laughs> so I'm just going to get to the airport and let them figure it out. You know, at that trusted travel they want you to sign up with. Uh, yes. Um. Yeah, we definitely have to talk about that. I'm going to arrange a Zoom call for us to talk about. Okay. The All right. Tests and things like that. That way we're we're clear. But any updated information you or anyone can have, and the things that we're gonna have to talk about will will help. Um, but and I'll do my own research also to make sure that we have all of the things that beyond us. And, and it's kind of like beyond the visa. Make sure we have all the things that we need to have COVID tests and make sure any pre-registered or login or uh, ticket set up. All those things are all clear on. Right. I've done a lot of reading on this thing, so. Oh, perfect. Then, uh, I mean, if you want to share certain things, you can share uh, with us. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay, I will do that. Even if you want to share now, that's fine also. Oh, well, I did a lot of reading, and um, like the labs, the people who are arriving in Ghana, those labs, there's a list of labs. Those labs are recommended, but they're not mandated. Now, the labs for the people that are leaving Ghana, those are mandated. You have to use those labs. So, um, and then the thing about the lab that we use in Ghana, it's a simple thing because it's the, the lab that's connected to the airport. 
Right. And that's that's one true. that we have access to, and it's 24-7, so it's a win-win situation. But right. also, essentially, leaving from Kumasi, we'll find one in Kumasi. Oh, you got people leaving from Kumasi? No, we're all leaving from Kumasi. We do get to Accra. I can get us there earlier to take the COVID test, and then oh. uh, we'll go eat some food and uh, make it to where they can do the one hour and the expedite test for us, or I can get it done for us in Kumasi. So those are things that um, we haven't finalized a game plan, but um, those are things that we'd work on. Oh, like, okay. All right. Yeah, and, and that's kind of like what, what we did when we just came back from Senegal and the Gambia. We worked it out, and, and it worked out. But that's, that's, that's all you have to have is just a game plan on these things. Oh, to get okay. the tests and things like that, because that's why countries that, more countries are taking it serious, and you got to, you know, and you know, I just want to make sure you have what you need to have uh, and things like that. So I tell people that, unfortunately, they have to take the test. They can't come up with nothing else. There, there, yeah. There's no waivers and none of those things. No, there's no way getting around the COVID test. So. And then you have to wear a mask on a flight the whole time outside of you eating. So uh, just bring something you can breathe in a little bit easier and then just kind of deal with that. But that's the new mandate that we have to deal with. Okay. All right. Now I'll just wait for the next meeting. All right, well, perfect. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be sending a Zoom link in our Ghana tour page. Um, it just, it, it'll just be in a few days. I want to at least do it at least seven to nine days before we leave. Pumani, uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, this is Wilbur. I am so sorry. I had trouble getting on. Uh, but uh, the question that I have now is we're leaving on Monday. They want us, the, the COVID test, they want it uh, 48 hours, I believe, two days before we travel. Uh, it's three days. It's three, three days. days. So, so I recommend you either okay. take Friday, I recommend you take it Saturday. But if you can't take it Saturday, you don't really have much of a choice but to take it on Friday. And then you're oh. asked to give you back the results. On Saturday, if they can't get to you on Saturday, they need to get you the results by Monday morning. So as long as you can get your results oh. by Monday morning, you're good. But I wouldn't recommend anyone take the test earlier than Friday because then oh, it would expire. That's what I wanted to know. I thought it was 48 hours. And another question, I, will, I have a relative that's going to be in Liberia uh, during the same time. I am, uh, we're in Ghana. And Ghana, and uh, do you have to have a different visa to go from? Because they invite he, he he's married over there, and he invited me to Liberia. Uh, do you have to have a visa for Liberia? Liberia, in yeah, order to go there. Is, um, I I've never been in Liberia. I don't know their protocols. I don't even know if you required a visa. But I would almost say that since you're an American citizen, you don't need a visa to go to Liberia because Liberia is they have a connection with America as far as diplomacy, um, and it's been that way for you know, since the inception of Liberia. Liberia is so it may not be, but it's something that you'd have to just go to the Liberia embassy and be clear on. And that way, um, if you need to go there, you can go there because once the tour finish, um, you can you go to the ticket counter and then ask them to change your ticket to the date that you want to come back, the date when you want to actually leave for Ghana. Uh, and things like that, since the ticket has already been purchased and everything already. Um, and so that's one uh, option, and you can also do it when you get to the airport the next time um, as far as uh, changing it. But, yeah, but you definitely want to make sure that you're clear about those things ahead of time as far as uh, those um, visa requirements. Okay. Because uh, okay. Ghana visa won't work for Liberia or any other country outside of Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I heard you say something about the, the white. I have a white uh, uh, outfit I can wear. And uh, I got on right as you was finishing up with that. And uh, now you said something about green, red, and black, or something like that? Yes, red, black, green, and gold. Um, if you ever see any of our group pictures, you'll see us all in the same colors, whether it's white or red, black, green, red, black, green. Uh, black and green. Mm -hmm. So it's this colors of solidarity um, uh, for you to bring. 
if you don't can't find any, I don't want to bring any. It's or you can't get uh, okay. it to coordinate. It's all good. Um, it's just it's just like like I've had I got all bunch of uh, group pictures with us in the same T-shirt. So we provide a red, black, green, and gold T-shirt or some level of those colors. Uh, so or you have to you know so even if you wear blue jeans, it's all good. Okay. As you can yeah, see. I've, I've, a Senegal photo on on a newsletter. Some of us have on blue jeans or gray pants or different color, but the energy of the shirt is okay. So you uh, you will supply this this shirt. Yes, we have an uh, African Africans T-shirt. So let's have to see which one that we have all together. We have a few of them. Um, okay. Colors. So you'll be fine. And then the other one is to wear the whites to go to the dungeons. That's what we have. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. That's perfect. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, family, the line is open for anybody have any questions um, on our journey of a lifetime. Uh, one more one more quick question, uh, Bomani. Uh, now, we're going to need some type of an adapter to uh, plug our charger in to charge our cell phones and things like that. Do they do they have anything like that in the hotel? Or can we purchase it over there, or, or do we no, need yeah. anything? No, I, I, I'm not sure if you have been on the the site and you see the the, the preparation list. I say departure and reminder list. That is the the list that have you seen the, the the preparation list on the website? Because that's the list that I recommend everyone read through, and those are all the things that's going to remind you what what to bring. Um, can you okay. come, can you come to the country and get and get a universal plug and things like that. Absolutely, uh, we can always drop you off at the the mall, and then you you know find your way back to the hotel um, via taxi because it's right across the street. But uh, you want to make sure that you have all of your stuff ahead of time. You're in a good timing where you can order these things ahead of time, from waterproof poncho to umbrella and things like that, um, and anything for your rechargeable devices or your your plug extension adapters and things like that. Okay, I have not looked at that, but I definitely will go online and on the site and look at that. Yeah, um, and it, um, 100 percent of all the tour information is right there. Once you click on the link, and this is just for everyone in general, uh, all of those information is what your preparation is. And the only thing I do is just kind of go over it with everyone. Uh, but everything is being right and it's typed up, and it's based on my experience and what I know. And and I keep just sharing the same thing over, but um, and then there's a few other, but yeah, those are those are the lists on all of the, the sites. Family is called the departure and reminder list. Is 30 points. Okay, okay. I should have known you didn't leave no stones uncovered. I I should have known that was there somewhere. Okay, okay appreciate it. Right. Right, absolutely. It's right, so a family uh, line is open. If anybody have any questions, um, went to just a general flow of the newsletter and then just the channel let us all know. We're done. We're Go ahead. Hey Bamani, this is Stephanie. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Right. I'm doing all right with you. Good, thank you. Um real quick question. Um because I'm just concerned about my white. I mean I have plenty of white, but I think I might want a different dress, so is there a possibility that I may be able to pick up a nice one there? Uh, yes, so yeah, you'll be able to get things in the country while you're there, so you have time. I have time because I'm thinking about not even taking it. So, um, okay. All right. All right, well, thank you. Uh, absolutely, uh, you are welcome. All right, so family line is open. Uh, this is Amina again. Uh, I was wondering, how do I get phone calls, or am I able to make phone calls once I'm uh, in Africa? Uh, yes, uh, I got everybody set up on WhatsApp already. So when you get to the country, uh, you um, connect to the wireless network at the hotels, and then you use the WhatsApp to make phone calls to the people that you have, or the people that you're connected to, make phone calls and send messaging. Use all the other social apps or social things that you have uh, set up to, uh, you know, your phone or your computer. Uh, the next option that you have is you can 
bring an unlocked phone, an unlocked iPhone, Samsung Galaxy, this uh, quote-unquote GSM unlocked phone that will work virtually anywhere in the world. Once you bring that phone, uh, we can get you a Ghana SIM card that's about $5 and get you some Ghana minutes uh, you can use for data and you can also use for phone cards, phone calls, and uh, it just based on how much you decide to use. But ten, you, know, you can get $10 worth and that will get you going. So those are the ways that you can make phone calls and communicate with people. Mm-hmm. Well, I think T-Mobile has international. I've been looking on their website. I think you have an international plan. Yes, and then, uh, then absolutely. And then the third thing, you can purchase an international plan. And then um, when you start making those phone calls, then you'll see how big the bill gets. Um, so <laughs> you still have to go back to the where you want to use your WhatsApp or you want to use a Ghana phone. Um, but, uh, yeah, the international plan is good for you using the data, but you have to really be clear on all of the situation because you will come back with a big bill that you wouldn't have if you brought an unlock phone or if you use other option. But I'm um, speaking from using all of those options, and I use all of them still to this day. Uh, so, uh, But uh, all international plans and arrangements are different, and some are similar. The simpler, simplest one is a ten dollar per day. So if you charge for ten dollars, that'll be the ten days. That'll be a hundred dollars. So you'd have to be really clear if you want to spend that extra hundred dollars. Uh, about food, should I bring like cans of tuna or bottles of water or anything like that? Uh, dinner is included and breakfast is included. If you're gonna bring some snacks, that's fine. But uh, the meals are included, and uh, you just have to. When we take get you somewhere where you can order lunch, you just have to. I'll uh, put in an order based on what you like. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes dinners like that, we just give everyone menu and you order uh, order a few hours ahead of time and then we just have our dinner arranged somewhere. But, uh, but uh, anything that you present? personally want to bring is honestly all up to you. Okay. Fresh fruit, um, you know, stop at the roadside and get fresh fruit. Oh uh, yes, uh, it's a tropical country. You'll be able to get fresh fruits uh, throughout the time in the country. You just have to just let us know ahead of time while we're driving, and uh, we'll make sure we stop by somewhere and get you what you need. And you even see videos of us doing that, just stopping by somewhere and just getting the fruits. Okay, thank you, brother. Thank Absolutely. you so yeah, much, Are uh, You're welcome. Well, I just have the one one more question. Do they, um, the hotels, do they have washcloths in the rooms or, I know like in Costa Rica, they don't use washcloths. <laughs> I'm glad you brought it up. You know, I've been, you know, I'm trying to remember on my list. I know I put bring beach towel, but I'm always trying to remember on my list if I add washcloths to it. Uh, there's a good chance you won't get a washcloth. Yeah, I, I plan on bringing my own. So, um, I was packing them a few, few days ago and I remember throwing in like three or four washcloths in the bag. Um, so, my fault, everyone. Uh, that is something on the list. Thank you for really bringing that up. But family, please, everyone that's traveling with us. And Joyce, also remind me when we do that, um, the Zoom call, because that's when we have to really talk about these things. We just okay. give everybody else, like, recommendation and share with everyone else on things that they may... Because by then, you, everyone will still have enough time to get these things ordered. Right. Um, okay. All right. Thanks. All right. So... So perfect family, and also if you ask me, can you get the washcloth there at the uh, store in um, in Ghana? Yes, um, we had a few people who didn't have washcloths, and uh, we're in uh, Senegal, and we just you know got them a location by the restaurant that we're staying at, and they went and picked up their the things that they picked them up. So if you do forget things, um, um, you know we can get you it uh, in the country, and that's when you start seeing the difference in America. Because all these things that we're talking about getting is very simple, but then you go certain places, it's not as maybe it's not as popular in some areas. Anyway, uh, someone else line is open. Can you give your name? Where you're calling from? Hey, hey, but hey, Bonnie, this is Sean. Um, I'm I'm going on the December 2021 um, a trip, and I have a question in reference to uh, traveling internationally in regards to um, carry-on bags. What are some of the um, the the knots in, in, in regards to what you can carry on the plane. 
Yeah, I can't even give you a list. Um, the main thing I would tell you to do is, is bring uh, all your liquids. Uh, just put in your um, check-in bags. Uh, the thing I use my I carry on bags for is anything I have valuable. Uh, camera, camera, camcorder, phones, um, laptops, all those things in the carry-on, and then just maybe a day or two of clothing in case I have a delay on my bag or something. Um, other than that, um, it just should only be your clothing and basic equipment, uh, but definitely no liquid over three ounces. Gotcha. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Now, we're going to bring something specific outside that list of clothing and equipment. All right. Oh, good. Um, all right, family, line is open. Trying to make sure that I answer all and any questions anyone may have before we travel because um, we won't have another conference call for about two months, and everything I'm talking about is repetitive, and also it's what we have documented on other conference calls and also on the website. So those are the reasons why we don't have calls like every week and things like that. Uh, but I try to make sure that um do at least one of these calls every four to eight weeks. And trust me, your questions help other people also because, um, again, it's all recorded to share and uh, make sure we're all clear on everything. And, and for those who are traveling with us, um, all the tours I've done, uh, I've created these digital tour books. So I do have one for Ghana coming up. Um, it should be finished in a few days. Uh, the books are digital. It uh, depends on what tour I'm traveling on. If we have a big tour, we usually could do the, usually could do the order for printed books um, and things like that. Uh, but when the numbers just get low, we have to make adjustments. So I'm doing the best to not remove too much from any of the journeys that we have. It's never the tour stuff. Uh, it's just the additional cost of things that we do. All right, so family, the line is open. Let me know if anyone has any questions. Uh, we still have a more, little more time, so do want to make sure I'm available to go to uh, all and anything that anyone have a question on. And while I'm waiting for a question, let me see. We definitely covered all of the YouTube and Facebook and the website. So that's the main details and information I want everybody to check out, get a feel for share. And... Uh, yeah. And just using that energy to build us a nice connection in Africa so where we can do all the wonderful things that we want to do in paradise in Africa and trust me family and I talk about the roots and the culture of Africa. Uh if there's this little more wealth to flow around, trust me, looking at the greatest place to be. Uh so uh yeah, so not trying to push to convince people with it's just been an amazing journey, and after all of this journey, we finally have our home there in Ghana, uh, where we have people already building in the community, and we're looking to build a unique community, a community of just, you know, uh, unique, respectful people that want to, you know, that want to compete with the future of the world. Uh, so uh, that's what we're looking to build. And so, family, I will hold for another minute or two for questions and. For those who need to talk to me directly, especially if you travel with me, please just reach out and talk to me directly. I am available. I want to make sure that uh, we have everything in place um, and everything is clear that way we can enjoy this journey. But trust me, family, it has been a long year, and uh, this getaway to Ghana is just the ultimate. So let's deal with the, the one or two things that we have to deal with, which is the COVID test and things like that. But... Outside of that, uh, once we get in country, uh, life is good. All right, so family, line is open. Line is open. If anybody have any questions as you get ready for a journey for a lifetime. All right, family, line is open. And I have to just press star six, unmute yourself, ask your question. All right, everybody sounds very quiet. All right, so family, um, no one seems to have any questions. Let me see if there's anything that I can go over. Well, that's it, family. You scroll down to the end of the newsletter. You see all the social pages. So I have them right there in these links here.
So Facebook, Twitter, website, email, YouTube, Instagram. All right, so I am going to be working on uploading some more for our Senegal and the Gambia tour. I do have it set for next year. Um, uh, the date that we have right now is April 1st to the 11th, 2022. So that's um, that's I came up with, um, and looking at some other countries also. So, but um, that gives everyone a few options um, to travel with us, especially for this year. And um, as time goes along, we just you know keep on building energy, and eventually we'll be going to many more places as we uh, set up and build our business office there in Ghana, and that will leverage things a lot. Um, so, so anyway, family, I'm gonna press um, unmute so we can all unmute. And I'm gonna let everyone go. And just want to tell everybody good night and once again a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers of the world and appreciate everybody's time and energy. And I'm available if anybody needs to talk or go to anything. Right now my mind is focused on just what we uh, getting going in Ghana. Uh, we're gonna definitely come back with talk more about Tanzania and many other wonderful things. All right, so family, good night. Good night. Good night. All right, take care. Bye-bye.